So it's the U23 Women's Cox 8 Finals here at the 2024 World Rowing Championships. I'm Noah Vogel, he's Micah Newitz. The fastest qualifier coming into this, sitting in lane number four, the defending champions, the United States of America. Starting out in this race in lane number one, we see in the yellow uniforms sits Australia. Beside them in lane number two is Germany. Over in lane number three, already two gold medals for their country today. Great Britain looking to add to that tally. In lane number four, like we said, the defending world champions in this U23 Women's Cox 8, the United States. In lane number five is Romania. And in lane number six, Italy, the coxie for them, Ilaria Colombo. Now we'll talk about this a little later, but this is an extremely stacked race. Only seven boats came here to compete. Only six now Australia, in the finals. Germany, Great Britain, United States of America, Romania, Germany certainly Italy. a team to watch out for. They were Attention. the silver medalists last year at the World Championships. Want to get their revenge on the United States who will look to defend their title here as they get on their way. Takes a little longer for these boats to reach their top speed as they are a lot heavier than the single skull or double skull boats. Again, so, so much power here in the women's eight. Great Britain currently out to a short lead. Their stroke rate starting to pepper down and now find that sweet spot in their rhythm at the start of this race. Talked about the USA defending champions in this event in the in the third seat, Catherine Sarah, her freshman year at Harvard, and she's moved away from home to pursue her both academics and athletics at Harvard, a prestigious university college in the United States of America. Talked about how stacked this final is, Mike. There's many different teams with medal winners in other events. Talking about the Romanians who had two medalists from last year's World Rowing U19 Championships and two as well from the U23 Championships. And of course, two who raced in the Romanian women's quad at the 2024 Paris Olympic Games, finishing in seventh place. One of the most exciting races of today, as well as this week, as Great Britain is in front of USA and Germany by under five meters. Again, this, this race is different than others, as there's eight rowers in the boat, as well as a coxie. Their job is to keep the stroke rate within the group, the, with, the rhythm within the group the same, communicating. They're also steering their boats with the rudder underneath the boat to keep them in a straight line. An extremely important role on the boat. Again, usually a smaller person to keep the weight down, the minimum weight they must achieve is 55 kilograms. If they are under that weight, they will put weights in the boat to meet that requirement. 
Again, not even a second between the top three boats crossing the halfway buoy. The world champions, United States currently sitting in third place behind the Germans and of course Great Britain who has held on to the lead since the first 500 meters for the Americans. Looking to defend their title, but only one returnee from that crew here today. To hear the athletes and coaches chanting on Henley Island. I'm sure if we looked outside, there'd be a numerous amounts of nations and crews along the water side at Henley Island supporting the boats, even if their country isn't racing here. I'm sure they're watching to see just who wins this women's eight. The Americans fall, slowly falling behind the Germans, now 10 meters behind Great Britain in first place. Germany still within striking distance of Great Britain. Hermione Hill, the coxie, for the boat out front. Has lots to do here as the top three still very tight entering the final quarter of this race. At this 1500 meter mark, a common piece that is put together is the 30 stroke, 10 for technique, 10 for power, and then 10 for the girls in the boat. For the women there, Again, you're not just doing it for yourself like a solo in a single skull. You're doing it for every single athlete in your boat wanting to win for yourself, but more for the girls behind you and in front of you that have sacrificed so much to be competing for their nation here at the World Championships. Countless of early mornings together as a crew as we reach the final 200 meters, Great Britain 11 meters in front of second. Germany is two meters in front of the USA, who is in third. Australia 20 meters behind the leaders. Romania a little too far away for medal contention. Great Britain in a really good position here to win another gold today to start this weekend off in the U23 Women's Cox 8. USA can still catch the Germans and finish with a silver medal. They're currently sitting in that position right now. It's coming down to the wire. Great Britain's gonna win gold. Who will win silver? The Americans, the final push, just had enough to beat the Germans. Who will walk away with another medal, this time being a bronze. So the defending champions can't hold their title. It'll be moving across the pond to Great Britain, who will win gold in the U23 Women's A Jubilation for their crew with a final time of 6.06.58. The United States finishing in second place will win silver with a time of 6.08.35. And Germany in third will win the bronze medal, 6.08.61. Only six seconds behind the U23 world's best time was Great Britain. That world's best time held by the host country Canada here, who unfortunately was the team to get knocked off in the heats. As we see, we get these water to the athletes. A big shout out to all the volunteers, all the officials who are able to make this World Championships possible here in St. Catharines. There are the final times for the women's eight.